Here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Starting off this morning with a shot from Volunteer Parkway in Bristol, Tennessee. Notice no snow on the roads yet, but that's going to change as we go later into the evening and overnight hours as some snow starts to move our way. Temperatures right now, 16 degrees in the tri cities with cloudy skies, 12 in Wise, 11 degrees this morning in Marion. Now our severe threat tracker raised up into the high alert level for Sunday and Monday with that snow and that mixture moving in for Monday. We're expecting some wintry weather and the Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning for all of our viewing area. That's going to go through noon to 1 o'clock tomorrow for portions of southwest Virginia and northeast Tennessee. Goes a little bit longer for the North Carolina high country just because the precipitation is going to end there a little bit later. Now, Max Alert Radar this morning is showing some snow on it, but I have a very, very hard time believing any of this is making it down to the surface because the air is so dry this morning. The precipitation that falls actually evaporates before it hits the surface, something we call Virga in the meteorological community. But notice the west, though. We do have some more snow and moisture out across portions of western Kentucky, also into portions of Missouri. That is going to head towards us as we go into the afternoon and evening hours, bringing us some snow during the evening and overnight. Now, future track this morning starts with just the cloud cover, but notice as we go later into the afternoon, clouds increase even more. Four or five o'clock is when I think the snow will start moving into portions of southwest Virginia, reaching into the Tri-Cities around, say, six to seven o'clock tonight. Then as we go a little bit later into the evening, stretching into eastern portions of our viewing area towards Marion, Whitfield, and Richland. So if you have dinner plans tonight for Valentine's Day, maybe get those in a little bit earlier if you can. Maybe go out to Valentine's Day lunch instead of dinner, because with the snow moving in, you may not want to be on the roads tonight as that snow pushes through our area. Now, notice as we go into the late evening and overnight, the future track wants to try to give us a break. I'm a little skeptical of that but more snow is expected to form as we go into the morning hours. Then we get some warmer air moving in late morning into the early afternoon. That could transition us over to that icy mix, maybe some sleet and some rain I think is possible as we go into the afternoon. And it could be locally heavy at times, maybe issue giving us some flooding issues as we go into the afternoon. So because of that, we're going to keep our impact index pretty high for roads with the snow tonight and flooding in the medium level. Power outages not very likely but we could see some isolated issues with that tomorrow. Now, snowfall accumulations, one to five inches for portions of the Tri-Cities, three to eight across southwest Virginia, a little bit higher in those higher elevations. We'll say two to six for Marion, Caswell County, Withville, two to six inches there, three to eight for portions of the North Carolina high country with this event. Now, we could also see some light icing with this storm as well, maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch higher areas of ice to our east across the areas of the Blue Ridge and across North Carolina. So for today, uh, snow moving in late, 29 degrees, cloudy early. Then as we go into this afternoon, highs will reach up into the upper 20s. I think we'll cool down tonight, though, into the mid-20s with that precipitation overspreading the region. As we look ahead to the nighttime forecast, 26 degrees, mostly cloudy with snow. Tomorrow, that a.m. snow changing over to that wintry mix and eventually changing over to all rain. Could be heavy at times. Of course, we'll keep you guys updated throughout the day if we get any flooding issues as well. Check out the Storm Track 5 seven day forecast, 39 on Monday, 42 on Tuesday with kind of a wintry mix perhaps at times. More of a mix, maybe some snow showers on Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday, we get some sunshine back. Good news. And warmer on uh, next weekend. So. Great.